Yo, yo, yo. TK with campaign tutorial for StarCraft 1. It's been a while since I did this. I figured I probably should have gotten to this. Uh, anyway, today I'm gonna go over switches. And as I'm gonna, I left off on my previous uh, tutorial map uh, that explains how to have a civilian turn into a ghost, marine, fireball, whatever, and uh, take off and treat. But yeah, anyway, let's get back to switches. It's gonna be a I'm gonna explain how switches work in basic format and I'm gonna show what I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm planning to do with today's switches. So we have a we're we're the player, human player, red, and there's a yellow uh, computer player A. And I set both of us to be allied with each other so we won't automatically attack each other. And once so if you bring this unit to here then it's gonna it's gonna the hydra list will say something which I'll need to screen capture again. Well let's see. So as you can see I said you know player one up there I said I said player I said the computer to be friendly same thing with player A right like here. At the start of the game player one is also friendly with each other whatever. What's important is this box so let's go over here. I'm gonna go one by one, so you can you know you can kind of refresh your memory. So player one brings at least one unit to that location box. Do I kill you? The the following happens. It's gonna the screen the camera is gonna move as you can center view to that location box, and the hydralisk will say something along this line, which is which is this. I will you know kill you depending on your choice so that means that basically means the hydro risk might not kill it depending on its choice i didn't word this very you know correctly i guess but you know you, you get the point anyway that's blah 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 then it's gonna it's gonna the camera's gonna the, the game screen's gonna move to this location called medic and the medic's gonna say something something stupid but that's not important what's important is this the set start combo thing so I'm gonna click this and that's under the set switch trigger and once you click that it's gonna have this look at this big ass box and we can see all these things here but we're not even gonna bother talking about um, the other functions like random or toggle that's for later we're gonna talk about set and clear but before that you have to remember that I renamed this switch as Start Combo because by default switches are named as Switch 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But in this uh, campaign tutorial, I'm using three switches, which I renamed all of them. But our first switch is the, is the, the Start Combo, and you can do that by just clicking rename and you know just just rename the switch entirely. That's very simple, straightforward. I don't need to show you that. You you can experiment with that. But anyway, I have to. So this switch is basically now turned on, which is set. Clear is turned off, and you have to remember switches by default are all clear at the start of the game, no matter what. But that's not the case here now. I turned this switch on, set. So basically, let's let's review again. Let's review this box again. When we bring a unit, this our red unit to that near the location box where the hydro risk is it's gonna move the screen to there the hydro risk will say something it's gonna it's gonna move our screen all the way to this location box here where the medic is and then it's gonna basically medic's gonna say something and then this switch starts okay we're good up to there now and before i explain the next trigger box i had it so that if a medic brings to if a medic goes near the server or as aka the location box kill the hydrogen will start attacking the fire rat well the hydrogen will basically say to the fire rat that I'm gonna kill him but not attack yet but that can either change depending on the medic's decision like let's say if the medic didn't go near the server and I instead went near the infested turret then the hydrogen will say it's gonna have the fire that we for today, whatever. So that's where switches come in. It's like a 
this or that like condition. Like either this or that. Like or you gotta you gotta have that mindset or like kind of you know emphasize when you're doing your switches. But anyway, let's, let's okay. So let's say if we let's first decide that the medic goes near the infested tent. Yeah, let's examine this trigger here. So first of all, the reason why I have this set first is because let, let's say before the, when we start the game, before I bring the fire rat to the hydralis, I actually moved my screen all the way to the top right, and then I brought the medic first to where the location box is. Where it's let's say I brought the medic to the infested terror first. So this switch guarantees that you won't have the next trigger to start firing. You have to have this process in order. That's the important thing that I did, you know. So the trigger will start once the fireback goes near the hydros. Then we can c commence with this trigger that I'm showing right now, which is going near to the infestarian or the zerger. Okay, just okay. I'll explain that like better in a bit in a later bit. But and then let's let's say the medic went to the infestor. So us current player player one brings at least one unit to location box lift. And then now it's gonna this time it's gonna have this trigger, which is which is this. You go to set switch again, and when I click this, this is switch number two, which I renamed again, and I I wanna put this as clear. Okay. So that's basically it. So what does this do? This will it kill me or not switch has been turned off. And then we go to the next next trigger box, which is this. Well, I'm not going here because that's for a later part, but let's go over here. Let's examine this trigger box. So that switch to or this trigger is turned off or cleared. Then what, what will it do? It's gonna move our screen all the way to do I kill you again? And then the hydralis will say something. I will let you live. Why? Because we brought the medic to the infest terror, which is gonna basically let the high, let the fireman live. So that's that. That's basically that's it. Done. Done there. Nothing nothing wrong with that. That was the intention. So if I said before that if a medic goes to the infest terror, the hydrolis will not attack fireman. But if the medic goes to the Zerling, the hydrolis will attack the Zerling. Okay, so let's track it. Let's say instead of, instead of going to the best player, we went to the Zerbing instead. And we have to start this. So, again, let's examine this. As you can see, the this trigger, the very first switch is set to prevent some kind of... Uh, some kind of, like... Let's, like, you know, some kind of bad triggering. Like, it's to keep the triggers in order, okay? And anyway, then this medic went to that location box kill and let's see. Hold on real quick there. Okay, there we go. Then it's gonna turn on the switch instead. So remember that when I when the medic went to this location box, it actually cleared the switch. But now that's not the case, it's the opposite. It set the switch. It turned it on. What does that do? Then we have to examine the next next trigger box, which is over here. I already explained this just now, like a few minutes ago. And what does that do? This switch is turned on. So will it kill me or not? That switch do by the way, which I renamed to this name, so I can keep track of what this switch is doing. Really then it's gonna move the trigger box all the way to it's gonna move not trigger box, it's gonna move the screen to that hydrolis. And then the hydrolis will say something different this time. It's gonna say I kill you! Okay? And here's the thing. Now I put a, another switch that says it's a, this is that that is called kill. I renamed the switch three as kill. And now this switch is also turned on. What does that do? Then we have to examine it. So basically, when, once that once the high is finished is talking, it's gonna set this third switch on. And once that third switch on, we can examine this. So that kill kill switch is set. It's gonna set player. It's gonna have us player. So as since we're looking into the perspective of player one, our trigger, it's gonna have us uh, no more you know, friendly with the hydrants. It's gonna have 
it's gonna set clear at eight to enemy. Because remember, at the start of the game, we're we're allied with player eight. Well, since this switch is turned on now, we're, that's no longer the case. And same goes with player eight's trigger. Like if you go over here, you can see that once that third switch is set, it's, the Hydralis will start attacking player one, which basically means it's gonna set player one to enemy. So very straightforward. That's that's the end cause, okay? So let, let me let me go over this again in a very very easier way with with the help of a friendly friendly this. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, actually I should I should turn this on again and hold that one thought here. Okay, there we go. Is this working? Yep. So let me let me make this a bit bigger. Okay, so I I I made I literally made like a <laughs> notepad explaining what I just did. So first of all, we have switch one, which I renamed to start combo, and this is by in order. Okay, this is how the trigger works in order. So once that uh, switch is set, it's gonna move on to the next switch, of course, and then this is and then over here. You can see it branches out. It's gonna either go to this side or that right side, depending on the medic's choice. So if the medic goes to that location, okay. So I should I should really kind of move this a little bit like this. So if the medic either goes to kill, it's gonna literally. I just explained that the hydrant will attack the fireback. But before it attacks, it's gonna say something, and then it's gonna have this third switch turned on. But if the medic goes to live location box, nothing happens. The hydrogenist will say, oh, I'll let you live. So let's let's go with it. So what do these switches really do? So I go here. So switch one is there, so it prevents the medic from going ahead of the, the initial trigger. So one example would be moving a medic to either the Zergling or the infested, you know, Terran will not do anything until the switch is turned on. As in, it will, this, the, so if we bring the medic first to any of these locations, it won't do anything until the fire that goes to the hygienist first. Okay, do you understand? So this is the importance of using this switch one. It's to have this triggers like, you know, go in order, okay? And again, you can do this in multiple ways. You can also do this by issuing that counters, but I figure switch will be kind of easier to go along with because switches can also you can also do randomization with switches but I'm gonna hold off to that for a future video but so and you have to remember that the switches by default are set to clear or off switches are off okay but anyway that's not important I mean it is important but in the context of my explanation right now, I already, I, I, I even said this anyway. And, okay, should I make this bigger? Okay, anyway, I, I hope you guys can do that. But. Okay, let's go to Switch 2 now. So, the Hydrogen will determine what to do with the Inferno. So, this Switch is basically like having the conversation. Okay? It doesn't, this Switch doesn't mean that it's gonna attack right away. I could have done so, I could have actually done this with two Switches, but... I want to explain, like, I want to explain the switches in uniformity, in uniform fashion, so. Let's say, uh, we went to the kill location box. It's gonna have the, the switch turned on, which basically, the Hydro will say to the Inferno, the Firebird, that it will kill him. But, if we bring the Medic to the Infested Terran, the live location box, it's gonna say it's gonna turn off the switch, so the switch two will be cleared or zero or off, and it's gonna have the hydro say, "Oh, uh, you know, like I'm gonna let you live for today." Blah blah blah. But then let's let's go backtrack again. Uh, let's say the medic actually moved to the move near the zerg, move near to the zerg. Then it's gonna have this as if you look at this diagram here, it's gonna have this switch turned on. Okay which is kill switch, the third switch. 
And the stir switch is basically the switch that triggers the hydralisk to, you know, set the alliance setting different. So by, remember, by the, I set in at the start of the game, I set both player one and eight to be allied with each other. But once the third switch, third switch issues, it's gonna have them like go against each other. So that's basically it. So like you can see here, the hydralisk will have the inferno, you know, be not friendly with each other, and then. And basically, both players will not be set as enemies against each other. And that's gonna say, you know, it's gonna attack us both. Do you, do you follow? Like, so, yeah, it's very, very. So, so you might be wondering, oh, DK, what do switch, switches are used for then? So, basically, you can use switch for like an either or condition. No, not e yeah, either this or that. It's a condition, like. You can have more, like you can have a lot of switches. You can have up to 256 switches, I believe, or 255 in a game. But switches are used for like different outcomes of the game. Like it's more like have you can have the game more different as. So let me let me say this again. Let's say you're going down a path, and then once at the end of the path you see two branching paths. That's, this is basically what Switch is doing. That is, it, it is used for branching stuff. Or randomization. Or, or toggling, but that, that's for later. And you know, in like, if you, if you have played like, some installation maps where, um, there are like, doors and stuff, or like, gun traps. Switches are used for that too. It either like, turns it on or off. You have the door on or off. That's basically what Switches do. Okay? Not, not not that hard to think about it and well I guess the only only left thing to do is I guess is to have the game start and show you show you guys what the heck's going on so I'm gonna turn on my chaos launcher uh, in the meantime you guys can listen to this music which is on my um, Bluetooth playlist Anyway, let's start Starcraft 1.16. And um, yeah, you know, I'll turn. You no, know, I don't need to turn the music off actually, because my 1.16 Starcraft is literally it doesn't have music. Anyway, I'll show you exactly what 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 happened with this stuff just now. I went, I did. So let's go to tutorial two. Okay, let's see. What the hell? Where's my medic? Did I not place the medic? What? Oh, right, right, right. Okay, hold one fog, guys. Ho ho hold that there. I forgot to move this tutorial 2 to my other fog. <laughs> Gosh, I'm so silly. Anyway, let's move that there. Um, as for this, I can turn off the music now, I guess. Um, yeah. So, let's see. Paste. Why is it? Ah, gosh. I hate when this happens. I use two different, um, I use two different files for my StarCraft 1.16 and the current version. That's why this happens. I forgot to make a backup copy for my 1.16 map but yeah so in case something happens to my one my remastered of uh, map folder I can refer back to my 1.16 anyway let's go to here no not that now it should work you got my attention okay wait let's burn. what the hell is going on Hmm. Did I mess up? Oh, because I ah oh, gosh, I'm so stupid. Actually, I forgot to um. Okay, let's let's go back to the box. Let's go to this again. Okay, I'm gonna turn this notepad off. Okay, so it skipped the trick because okay, so that's the importance of like by default switches are you know clear. Remember so. What basically happened just now is, because 
this 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 issue automatically why because this switch is already turned off in, at the start of the game and in order to prevent that I forgot to put that second switch okay wait can you guys see that okay I forgot to put switch start convo is set to this okay th this is that's gonna fix this now it's gonna fix that I forgot to put that why did I forgot to put that actually so okay so reason why I'll put that sec the other the second switch there is because remember switches by default are clear so basically when I went to Starcraft 1.16 to show you what happened like the Hydra started talking already so that's why I want to put that first switch in order to prevent such problems to happen so if I save this now that that kind of stuff won't happen again so let's let's um, go back to this uh, let's start the tutorial and now it should not happen or or I forgot to save it in the other file gosh I'm so stupid okay I say I keep saving to my uh, one remaster file I gotta save to my 1.16 file okay Yeesh, uh, gosh, not what I expected, but okay. Okay, um, yeah, we saved today, and now it should work. Now it should work. Um, yeah, wait, wait. Okay, yeah, so now, now, see, now that the stuff doesn't happen, so Fire let's up. explain. Okay, let's hit the key. So, right now, the first switch is not turned on. So, basically, if I bring this medic to the Zergling or the Infested Terran, it won't do crap because you need to have that. You need to have the Inferno to the like, to set the switch on first. So, once I bring this, it's gonna. The Hydro will say, I'll kill you depending on your choice. So, that's. The start combo switch got turned on. And now, medic says something stupid, and then, yeah. And I forgot to put another switch there. Gosh, DK, what are you doing? Yo, what are you doing? Even switches get me confused sometimes. So, um, in order to fix that again, let's go back to here again. I'll move this to the middle. Um, where was it? Where was it? Yeah. Uh. How how would I fix this? Would be like let's say because the switch is turned on by default, I will need to put some kind of a placeholder that will not trigger this switch, and that would basically mean um hmm. You know, to be honest, I I could I don't really even need the switch to be honest. The cleared switch, the because by default it's turned off. That's what, but. One way to fix this would be, hey, I, I shouldn't have turned off my music. Hey, I'll turn this on again. Um, let, oh, DK going through some triggering process here, guys. Going through the triggering process. Not what I intended, but... So let's go by one by one. So, I just brought the fire back to there, and it did this. It had the switch turned on. And then... Once this happens, because the switch, okay, so we, we gotta we gotta fix some over here, because by default that switch is turned on. That's what. Oh, uh, so I probably don't even need this to be honest. I'll just put it. I'll, I'll do like this. I guess comment. Do nothing. Something like that, I guess. Hmm. Oh, okay. I could do this. No, no, that won't work either. What would be the best way to fix this? So right now, I just now by doing this. You won't have that problem again, but but if I bring my medic to the infested town, it won't do anything either. That's the problem. Cause this this is already 
adding this and uh, without this is it's basically the same thing because the switch is by default set to clear so mm, maybe I should have made multiple switches instead of having that yeah maybe I should do that actually yeah I'll do that actually then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make another switch okay I'm gonna rename this okay is it showing okay I'm gonna rename this this will be attack. Oh uh, no no, that'll be. I'm going with. Was this Zergling or? Wait, let me let me backtrack. Oh gosh. Oh, live. Okay, it was live. So it's gonna be. I'm gonna rename this to Infested Terran. Okay. And and the kill here, I'll have to rename it. Let me find another music. I never heard of this one before. Okay. Anyway, I'll make us. I'll make us another switch that will be renamed to Zergling. Yeah, that makes more sense now. Okay, so I now I have four switches. Basically, I'll have to update the the text box too. <laughs> anyway, let's let's go over it again. So, start combo is is turned on, and once that's turned on, medic can move freely. And if the medic goes to the infested turn, it's gonna have that switch turned on. So then I can go over here, and I can actually delete this, and I can have this turned on. And if the infested turn switch is turned on. The hydrogen will not will say I won't I'll let you live blah 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 blah. But then if the medic goes to that other switch, the Zerglin switch, it's gonna have it's gonna have this switch. It's gonna have the Zerglin set switch turned on, and then it will commence the attack. Okay, now that should fix everything. And now what basically I will need to do is turn on this. Um. So basically, even from here, so now I have switched, I have like freaking extra switches, so I have um, a Zergling switch, which is actually switch 4, in this case, or Infested Terran switch, switch 3, yeah, let me, let me, yeah, that looks, okay, so, if a medic goes to the zerg lane, it's gonna have this switch turned on. Can you guys see that? Yes. I should probably move this to the middle. Or if, and then it's gonna do the following that I explained earlier. And if the if the, if the medic goes to the first turn, it does nothing, basically. And you guys can actually just literally ignore the bottom thing. Okay. The, pr the point is, the point is I am gonna continue with this one, but first I need to save, save the copy to my 1.16 so hold that button okay copy and replace okay now it should work I believe okay enough about that okay let's do this now it should work properly I like to use uh, anyway. Like I explained earlier, medic's not gonna do crap. If you prematurely bring bring her to here or there, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, because as you can see, we're allied with each other. Does nothing. So it, the switch is gonna turn on once we have this. Once you bring the fire up there. And then the Hydra says it's lying, the medic is ready, and now here's the different branching options, which I'll do, oh, I'll do a save tutorial. Is that how it's spelled? Tutorial. So let's say, let's say we bring the medic to the, I won't kill first, to the infested turn. I'll let you live. Yes. That ends the the switch there. Okay, okay. Now let's re reload back. I'm on the 
What if we went to the Zergly instead? Then what happens? I kill you! And then it turns that kill switch on and then it's gonna set us to enemy like this. See? That's basically it guys. Very straightforward. So again, like like I said, switches are basically either or, okay? Either or. Like a branching stuff. Like it's to make like like I use a lot of switches for my uh current impending doom campaign mission 9 lzr3 and in those like for those switches i use like like different dialogue options like if you do something or if you do certain stuff it's gonna have different dialogues okay so that that's basically what i'm trying to get at here for this campaign tutorial try it out and if you're still confused leave a comment below and i shall I shall try my best to help you. But yeah, this is gonna be it for DK here. Hope you all enjoy watching. And I'll see you next time. Or well, actually, I'm gonna upload more StarCraft videos later tonight. So I'll see you later then. Bye now.